Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So today we're super excited to be taking a look at this brand new figurine from Rebor. It's the Triceratops Haridus, the Fallen Queen. And this is an injured Triceratops that can be paired up with the existing King T-Rex figure. So it can actually lean over the top of this figure and replace its base. How cool is that? So let's kick off by taking a closer look at the packaging. As usual, Rebor bring us this high quality product in a black satin finish slip case. And you can see on the front there, we've got a wonderful illustration of the Triceratops skeleton placed accurately inside its anatomy. Up here it says Triceratops Haridus. You can see there's a little female symbol there, which means that we're actually going to get a male counterpart for the Triceratops in the future. So that's pretty exciting. And it's in scale 1 35th, which is actually in scale with most of Rebor's existing products. And on the back, we have a rundown of the existing dinosaurs in Rebor's line. We've reviewed all of these on the channel, so do check out the links down below if you want to see the review for each of these. We've got the Y-Rex, we've got the King T-Rex, we've got the Uteraptor Windhunter, we've got the Ceratosaurus Savage, and the recently reviewed Acrocanthus Hercules, and today we're looking at this one, the Fallen Queen. To give you an idea of the size of the packaging, here it is with the King T-Rex box, and here it is with the Uteraptor Windhunter box. You can see that it's wider than the Wind Hunter box. Removing the box from the slipcase and opening it up reveals a beautiful foam inlay. And instead of an information fact card, this time we get an illustration showing how the King T Rex can stand over the Triceratops. Removing the top layer of foam reveals a well with the Triceratops safely stored inside. So without further ado, let's get this thing out of the packaging. And here is the Fallen Queen Triceratops Haridas out of the packaging and this looks absolutely stunning. If you hadn't guessed, we're big fans of Jurassic Park on the channel, and this certainly resembles the sick Triceratops that we see in Jurassic Park, apart from the fact that this one has been mortally wounded. And for those of you familiar with Rebor's club selection figures, Lock, Stock and Barrel, the Baby Raptor Hatchlings, and the Baby Ceratopsian Jolly, you'll notice that this has a similar feel and weight to those figures. Uh, it, even in the finish and the way it's been sculpted, it resembles more their club selection figures, which are like polystone statues. Now, before we get stuck into the figure, Rebor always decorate their bases, and in this case, it's quite unique. It gives us a rundown of how we put the diorama together. So we're meant to include the King T-Rex and the Fallen Queen. We're also meant to include King Trident. Now, King Trident is the male Triceratops defending his dead counterpart versus the King T-Rex. How awesome is that gonna look? And it's gonna be so cool to have that T-Rex versus Triceratops on your shelf. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a closer look at the Fallen Queen. Now, I know we usually start off with the head, but actually today I wanna to start off with the base because it's got this really lovely matte, volcanic, ash-like ground that looks really prehistoric and genuine. And I just love all the detail, all the sediment gathering around the areas where you'd expect it, around the tail and the feet. And I just love the genuine look of all of Rebor's bases. Now it's very matte, whereas the skin has quite a little sheen on it. And that really sells to me the genuine look of this earthy base. So moving on to the head, you can see we've got wonderful detail going on here. Just look at all that fine scaling. Beautiful sculpted detail. The proportion looks fantastic. Just looks like it's walked out of a museum display. Love all the weathering going on on this horn. Lovely paintwork as well. Very sort of earthy, naturalistic colours. Beautiful work on the frill there. Such gorgeous work from Rebor. On the back you can see we've got lovely fine scaling going on. And then you can see here's the mortal wound. And actually these holes actually line up with the toe claws of the King T-Rex, I believe. So when we actually stand him on top, this should lodge in place with his feet. You can see the blood pouring down onto the base. It's quite gory, actually. You can see where it's poured down here. I don't think we've got much hope for this Triceratops. Look at these lovely creases and folds going on across the torso. I was just distracted by how amazing they look. Look at that. As we move down the leg, you can see this lovely indication of the musculature. And these pores, I mean, my goodness, just look at this detail. Look at all these lovely creases and striations. There's a lovely level of gloss. It's a subtle level of gloss. Just the right amount to make it look like real flesh. Really lovely detail here. Gorgeous striations on this leg. Lovely creasy knee there. Just love the way the flesh is stretching. It joins up with this leg. Just look at these toe claws. 
they're weathered to match the earth that it's actually sat on. Just incredible stuff. Look at these lovely striations up here. Really lovely sculpted detail. I just can't believe how authentic this whole thing looks. I really, this is just taking my breath away. Okay, and now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's bring in the King T-Rex to complete this piece. Here we go. So the King T-Rex's front toes, they lodge into two holes on the back of the Triceratops' neck. The other foot goes firmly on the base here. And you can see, there it is. Wow. What a fantastic new base for the King T-Rex. If you're one of the people who had standing issues, and I did with the King T-Rex, this is really, really fantastic in terms of an upgrade. And let's open his jaw to complete the look. Look at that. Fabulous. That is an incredible looking piece. And with the Triceratops in place, that leg just has so much more purpose and weight behind it. It really does look like a lion holding down its prey. I love the way that with the T-Rex's claws in place, the blood running down just looks so much more animated. So just how big is the Fallen Queen? Let's whip out the tape measure. You're looking at about eight and a half inches long, which is about 21, 22 centimeters. And in terms of the height, you're looking at about three inches tall, which is about seven or eight centimeters. Nice comparison time. Let's bring in that King T-Rex again to see how they compare height wise. You can see that it's a big sizable Triceratops. A nice big meal for this King T-Rex. Next, let's bring in the recently reviewed Hercules Acrocanthosaurus. If you want to see the review for this guy, link is in the description down below. But you can see he also scales up nicely next to this Triceratops and it looks maybe like it's a fresh kill for this one too. Next, let's bring in the Uteraptor Wind Hunter again in 1 35th scale. And we have reviewed this one on the channel. Link is in the description down below. You can see this guy looks like he's scavenging for a meal. Now, speaking of dioramas, let's bring in the Sauropod Nest Diorama set. Again, we have reviewed this one on the channel. Link is in the description. All of these eggs are removable and perfectly detailed in miniature. Now, what's really interesting about this set is that the coloration of the soil very closely matches the Fallen Queen set. So we're actually building up potentials for diorama creativity, and I love that. And last let's bring in our good friend Off Colour Alan to assess the situation. Not now Alan, she's bleeding. Thanks Alan. There he goes, he's leaving the review table. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Fallen Queen Triceratops Haridus female version from Rebor. This is a fantastic piece. What a wonderful upgrade for the stand of the King T-Rex. So if you already own this figure from Rebor, as I know a lot of you already do, definitely pick up this figure it just really completes the piece and it's just a fantastic idea by Rebor. I'm really looking forward to the male version of the Triceratops and I'm hoping that it's sort of standing its ground and really completes the look of this diorama. Okay guys let me know what do you think down below will you be picking this up? In the meantime rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Do 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 do